bro, I was just minding my own business, looking for cute girls and made photos for personal reason, and then before I know it, I find this photo. I know myself. I have an intense need to know what or why something exists. So I'm like, okay, I'll bite. Why is a maid outfit girl wearing a mask and holding a decapitated head? And after some digging, I find out it's from the manga and I think to myself, well, I guess I have to read the whole thing or I won't really understand why she's holding a head. So I start reading it. And basically the story is a character finds themselves on a skyscraper and there's no way down but to jump and die. And then there are people, bad guys wearing masks, who are trying to get you to jump off and kill yourself. And if you don't jump off, then they'll kill you anyway. <laughs> um, so I finally find the maid from the picture. And by that time I've read so many chapters that I'm forced to finish it. And But you know, as I'm reading it, there are a lot of complexities to the story, right? The way the masks work are interesting. Um, the rules of the world are pretty interesting. And as they share more and more about the inner workings, I admit, I become interested. I kind of want to know if the main character will be able to not only survive, but thrive in the world. And you know, just like I thought when I saw the anime, I didn't think it'd be able to solve the entire manga. And it didn't. I didn't think it'd cover all the details, and it didn't. But it follows closely enough and is definitely worth your time. If you like Attack on Titan, Death Note, Berserk, and you want a suspense-filled anime that will probably follow the rules that it presents for itself, then go for it. But I promise you, after you finish the season, you'll want to know the rest of the story. And when you do, start on chapter 150, because that's about where you are. To reiterate, I recommend this if you like anime. Now, if you're a fan of hyper-realism and prefer some more serious anime where there's sadness around every corner, then you know, skip this one. Because there's a bit of fan service, and characters do things like monologue to themselves for long periods of time. It's actually almost funny how one scene, somebody's head's chopped off, and the next scene, clothes are being ripped off because of a near dodge. And more importantly, because of the rules of the show, over time it gets kind of Game of Thrones. And by that, I mean the world is painted as hyper dangerous, which it is. But at the end of the day, it's a shonen anime. As an example, we always hope that Naruto won't die when he gets into these fights, because he can die. But we all understand that he probably won't, and it'd be better if he didn't. The best parts of the anime are the fact that it's a unique setting. I mean, when's the last time you were brought to another world and it was skyscrapers only? The art's good. There are bits of fan service, the cast is varied, the fight suspense are well used. The bad is, sometimes you can feel the plot armor. And the constant monologuing, which is consistent with anime now, I'm not sure how that stuff's still to play after all this time. Anyway, I could talk about this sort of thing all day long. So I'm gonna end it here before I'm rambling. See you guys soon.